Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another new VR games roundup video. Today, of course, we're looking at September 2023. Now, we're so close to finally getting past the new VR games content drought of the summer. We're into the autumn now. It's getting a bit colder, it's getting a bit darker, a bit sooner in the evenings and typically all the big VR games are going to start coming out between October and December. So one more month to go and then we should start seeing some really heavy hitting VR titles. But September is still a pretty good month as well. There's a lot of games to get through today so I'm going to jump straight into it. Bear in mind though most of these are re-releases or definitive versions rather than brand new experiences. But there's a couple of great looking brand new experiences in there too. So let's get into it. These are all the new VR games launching in September 2023. VR gamers love monkeys. That's just a fact. Gorilla Tag is still the highest rated game on Quest and there are hundreds of wonky clones that let you run around as a monkey. No More Rainbows is another popular VR game where you play as a big furry monkey monster. And now we have Toss, a new monkey-centric VR platformer that looks bright, colourful and deceptively challenging. If you've ever wanted a Super Mario or Super Meat Boy style VR game focused on intense platforming or maybe you just want more monkey action, then this one should be on your radar. It launches on the 7th of September for Quest, PSVR 2 and PC VR. I'm pretty sure Walkabout Minigolf is the most consistent and impressive video game out there when it comes to its constant stream of high quality additional content and new courses for players to enjoy. And it's time for another new Minigolf course to join the game. Alfheim is the Norse realm of the elves. I'd expect a lot of gold and fantasy grandeur in this particular course and fingers crossed we get more world tree realms in the future, maybe Helheim or Jotunheim. Alfheim launches on the 7th of September. I still firmly believe that Pixel Ripped 1995 is the best Pixel Ripped game of the bunch. Now it's probably because this particular time period resonates with me so much. In 1995 I was 8 years old and fully enjoying the 16-bit era of the Sega Mega Drive and SNES, so this game lets me travel back in time to that moment in my life to re-experience the feeling of diving into these classic games all over again. Now, Each pixel ripped game takes you on a journey into the past and allows you to relive a certain generation of gaming. If you're anything like me and grew up with Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, Rocket Knight and other 16-bit classics, then Pixel Ripped 1995 will be an incredibly powerful nostalgic adventure when this enhanced version launches on the 12th of September for PSVR 2. The standard version is available on all other VR platforms right now. Urbo is a relaxing and meditative city building puzzle game. You begin with an empty grid of land, choose an architectural style and build. You aim to support the needs of your people and your own aesthetic tastes and watch your city flourish. There's no ultimate goal in Urbo. The rules are very simple. Build houses on playing fields of different geometric shapes. From small houses come bigger ones, then even bigger ones, and so on. Thus grows your city and the number of people who call it home. Urbo is designed to be the kind of game you play in small chunks to unwind after a busy day. Other relaxing city sim experiences like Little Cities have already proven this is a lucrative genre in VR, and this new experience is launching on PC VR via Steam on the 13th of September. The visuals of this new painting puzzle adventure game look amazing and I really hope the Studio Ghibli-esque sections of this trailer look just as incredible inside your VR headset as they do on a flat screen. Now I'm a huge fan of this art style and Ghibli's work in general so any product that looks this way is something I'll be immediately attracted to. It's also an incredibly unique aesthetic for a VR game in general. The game looks to bounce back and forth between flat anime cutscenes and 3D stylized gameplay sections. It's also great to see a VR painting game that isn't just a freeform painting application. It has a story, it has puzzles, and it has a driving force pushing you through to the end of the experience. I'm excited to try it out when it launches on the 14th of September for PC VR, Quest, and PSVR 2. Firewall Ultra and Crossfire Sierra Squad led the new VR shooting game charge in August, but both games fell flat for at least a portion of the PSVR 2 player base. I definitely had gripes with Firewall, but since launch I've played it almost daily and will admit that I've warmed to its gameplay mechanics and choices, but I can understand why some people were disappointed. 
This month we have Alvo to quench our thirst for guns and shooting other people in their big stupid digital faces. Alvo is a complete multiplayer package built for VR, with a ton of game modes like Free For All, Team Deathmatch, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy and of course a Zombies mode. This is a more conventional VR shooter that's trying to offer players a Counter-Strike or COD style online experience. The game has been available for standalone VR headsets and original PSVR for some time now, but it's making the leap to PSVR 2 on the 14th of September, complete with a visual upgrade and some PSVR 2 specific features. Broken Edge is a VR multiplayer fantasy dueling game where you embody historical sword fighters. Players use their unique techniques and powers combined with cutting edge VR fencing mechanics to claim victory against online opponents and climb the ranks. All characters are equipped with unique weapons, coupled with their own distinctive martial arts style, and players must learn to master these ancient fighting patterns to dominate their foes online. The game is bringing its gorgeous pastel coloured art style and intricate fighting mechanics mechanics to PSVR 2 on the 19th of September and I'm excited to see what it looks like through the vibrant lenses of Sony's new VR headset. Ruins Magus was one of my favourite VR games of 2022. It's part dungeon crawler and part story driven anime character drama. It all unfolds in a beautiful world with expressive and fantastically voiced NPC characters and I'm so happy to see the complete edition launching on PSVR 2. It's a game that I honestly didn't think I would gel with initially, but after the first 30 minutes of gameplay I could tell it was something special that fans of hack and slash action and slice of life adventures will no doubt enjoy. If you're an anime fan or just love chopping your way through dungeons filled with bad guys then Ruins Magus is well worth checking out when it launches on the 19th of September for PSVR 2. This is easily my hot pick for September 2023. Hellsweeper is a high-intensity, dark fantasy action combat adventure built from the ground up for VR. It has addictive hack and slash combat and one of the most over-the-top systems for movement mechanics in VR to date. You can backflip and wall run all over the place whilst blasting demons with magic attacks, slicing them in half with oversized blades and axes, or you can just whip out a pistol and shoot them in the face with good old-fashioned bullets. Speaking of the demons, the enemy designs here are fantastically grotesque. The boss creatures in particular are beautifully designed and look like some wonderfully unique fantasy encounters. It plays like the modern Doom games if the Slayer was an acrobat who could shoot fire, ice or rocks at enemies. You also have a dog companion which means this game is going to be 100% better than every other VR game that doesn't have a dog companion. Dogs just make everything better. Every game should have at least one dog in it. Hellsweeper looks set to be a huge hit when it launches on September 21st for all major VR platforms. I have no idea what Paper Beast is about, but it looks incredible. This game takes place in an alien world filled with creatures that look like they're made completely out of paper. Origami animals roam the land that you can interact with, help and support in this exploration focused adventure. It looks a bit like a weird indie version of Viva Piñata, a game about interacting with creatures and shaping the environment to support their needs. The game won a plethora of awards when it launched on PC and PC VR back in 2020 and those who've played it say it's an unforgettable experience unlike anything else in the medium. This enhanced PSVR 2 version has a new smooth locomotion mode, 4K and HDR support, as well as an upgrade to the textures. So if you want to experience the definitive version of this bizarre alien adventure, the PSVR 2 looks to be the best way to play. The best VR escape room experience is back. I Expect You to Die 3 launched for Quest a few weeks ago and the PC VR release is coming on the 28th of September. If you enjoyed the other entries in this franchise then the good news is that shell games haven't run out of exciting, clever puzzle experiences to challenge their players. The comedic writing is also as strong as ever and the story is just as engaging as the previous two entries. It also has a fantastic intro sequence with a unique song that makes you feel like you're in your very own Bond movie. I've watched it through at least three times now. It's brilliant. Fingers crossed this one lands on PSVR 2 as well at some point in the future because all VR users should be able to play this series. 
The second chilled out VR city builder this month is Islanders VR, a new virtual reality version of the existing Islanders game, a minimalist strategy experience about building cities on colourful islands. Players can explore an infinite number of ever-changing new lands and expand their settlements from sprawling villages to vast cities, or just enjoy the relaxing atmosphere. This one definitely looks very close in terms of pacing and vibes to little cities. These kind of relaxing minimalist city builders work wonderfully in VR and are particularly good at onboarding VR newcomers as they don't involve much if any physical movement or intense action. Islanders VR is launching for Quest and PC on the 28th of September. Now it's on to the potential releases section of this new VR games video. The next five games you're about to see don't have confirmed release dates, so they may not release in September. However, they are scheduled to release in autumn 2023, so could surprise drop, like many VR games do, at a moment's notice. U-Boat Silent Wolf was sadly delayed out of its initial release date and it has since been shown as Autumn 2023 on the Quest Coming Soon page. Fingers crossed this one launches soon because the preview gameplay I was able to take part in was fantastic. It's jam-packed with interactivity and manning all the different stations in this huge U-Boat whilst engaging in battles with enemy forces is an intense and surprisingly difficult VR experience. There's a lot of finesse here and lots to learn if you want to be the most successful successful and well-oiled U-Boat team, especially in multiplayer. Hopefully we'll see this one releasing in the next couple of weeks. Arashi Castle of Sin was an excellent game that felt very much like Tenchu in VR. However, it was held back by the limitations of the original PSVR and hasn't been made available on any other VR platform until now. Also slated for an autumn release, this definitive and upgraded version of Arashi Castle of Sin is now set to hit Quest, PCVR and PSVR 2, so everyone will finally be able to experience this fantastic stealthy shinobi adventure set in feudal Japan. You even have an adorable wolf companion in this one and you can pet them and everything, it's brilliant. I think it's more likely that this one will receive a big marketing push before its release date. I'm actually leaning more towards Stranger Things VR having an October or November release, but it does say Autumn on the Quest coming soon page, so I'm throwing it in the potential section just in case. This VR adventure lets you play as Vecna as he travels through the Upside Down and ultimately seeks out the kids of Hawkins to exact his revenge. I love games that let you play as the bad guy. We don't get enough of them and it's refreshing that a Stranger Things game is letting us see things from this perspective. Fingers crossed we get this one soon, but my money is on a spooky October release. Seeing this trailer right after the Stranger Things trailer makes me realize that Inverse looks a lot like Stranger Things. Similar font, color scheme, creature design, theme. Interesting. Inverse is a 4v1 asymmetrical horror game. One player is the Demogorgon style monster who has to hunt down the other four players who all look like hazmat suit wearing upside down explorers. If you want a multiplayer Stranger Things experience and you love games like Dead by Daylight, then Inverse looks like it's worth checking out. And finally, the new Samba de Amigo game just launched for the Switch and Apple Arcade, so the VR version's release can't be too far away. It's once again scheduled for an Autumn 2023 release according to the Quest Coming Soon page, so there's a good chance we'll see it in the next two months if it's going to hit that initial release window target. Plus, it's another game starring a monkey. We started with monkeys and we're ending with monkeys. I didn't plan this, I promise. If you've ever wanted to shake your maracas in time to the beat in virtual reality, then keep your eye on Samba the Amigo, a classic Sega franchise making a VR comeback soon. And that is everything for September 2023. It's a pretty stacked month, I must admit, but most of these releases are definitive versions and re-releases rather than exciting new experiences and games. However, we're now heading into the absolute carnage of October through December, and there are still a ton of big hitting VR games and the brand new Quest 3 headset still to come this year. Buckle up for an exciting and content-packed few months, VR fans. It's going to get crazy from here on out. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like, drop a comment down below, and hit subscribe. I will see you all soon for another one. Take care, guys. See you later.